The general election is the battle for Britain, and today Nigel Farage made it clear that he thinks this is the immigration election. He spoke about the Channel Migrant Crisis. I've actually filmed this. I've filmed on the 12-mile median line people throwing their iPhones into the sea, throwing their passports into the sea, doing everything they can so that we can't track and identify them. Although it's OK, because they get an iPhone, a new one, within 24 hours of arrival. But I think this is a national security issue. He also said mass immigration is leading to sectarian politics. And you might have noticed that uh, Angela Rayner yesterday was campaigning in her constituency, begging, begging a group of Muslim leaders to please vote Labour. You'll have noticed not a single woman in the room. So we're moving into an age in our inner cities and towns, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm worried to say, of sectarian politics with women completely excluded. He was pressed on this by reporters who demanded to know what he thought British values were. I didn't talk a lot about British values, but, but well, well, I, think women, I think women play a part. I mean, you're here, um, which is interesting, because if you were at an Angela Rayner meeting, I doubt you'd be welcome. Um, and indeed, if you see the victory, if you see the victory, um, you see the victory celebrations from the local councillors, from Burnley to Bradford to Leeds to elsewhere. No women. The idea that I'm saying this is all British Muslims is absolute nonsense. Let's remind ourselves now of that Angela Rayner clip. I know that people are angry about what's happening in the Middle East. And I said live on TV, and I say to this day, if me resigning as an MP now would bring a ceasefire, no, I would do it. I would do it. Well, this is how BBC newsreader Greta Guru Murthy, whose brother Krishnan, complete coincidence, of course, reads the news on Channel 4, reacted to Nigel's speech. He has said that this is now a matter of national security. Nigel Farage with his um, customary inflammatory language there at a Reform UK press conference. Not particularly neutral there. The apology followed. Nigel Farage. Now, an apology. Earlier today, we heard live from Nigel Farage speaking at that election event we just saw. And when we came away from his live speech, I used language to describe it, which didn't meet the BBC's editorial standards on impartiality. I'd like to apologise to Mr Farage and viewers for this. And today, a picture emerged that Nigel might claim proves his point somewhat. The man who came third in the West Midlands mayoral contest, is standing to be the MP in Birmingham Ladywood. Here is his campaign poster. OK, so you've got the Palestinian colours there and the slogan, Lend Gaza Your Vote. All right. And Labour MP Naz Shah gave an election broadcast that certainly was not in English. So, अभी अभी Prime Minister Rishi Sunak ने ऐलान कर दिया है कि हमारा summer election होगा, general election होगा, चार तारीख, जुलाई की चार तारीख को. सारे नौ Is it inflammatory to talk about sectarianism in Britain, a failure of integration, assimilation, and multiculturalism, or is it just stating facts?